Welcome to Guac Gaming, Guac King here, and with the addition of legendary animals to Red Dead Online, I'm going to go over what we found to be the best way to take them down, whether you plan on sampling or skinning the animal. Because it's important to know what you're doing. Look at Brizzle here. He didn't know what he was doing. And look how embarrassing this is. So check this video out so you don't end up like Brizzle. If you go on to find this video helpful, drop me a like and subscribe as that really helps grow the channel. So I'm going to go over two different ability card loadouts, depending on whether you're going to sample or skin the legendary animal. First, we're going to go over sampling. So if you're looking to sedate the legendary animals for Harriet, then obviously you're going to use the varmint rifle with a sedative rounds in it. But for the ability cards, we found that there are two primary cards to use. We'll start with the most important card, which is the Dead Eye card, Paint It Black. It's important to note that with Paint It Black, you can't paint the legendary animals. They're unmarkable. But the other function of Paint It Black is that it eliminates the bloom on your rifle. With Paint It Black activated, as you're chasing down the legendary animal, you don't have to worry about the accuracy of the rifle. You could just put your reticle on it and shoot as fast as possible. Which is of course really helpful, because if you catch the animal unaware, then you could fire several rounds into it and potentially sedate it right on the spot, or at least you won't have to fire as many rounds into it when you're on the run. The second card is the Unblinking Eye. This one's pretty obvious in the fact that it'll allow you to stay into paint it black longer, but it also has a secondary function in helping you track legendary animals down by keeping Eagle Eye active longer. So if you're doing a sighting mission from Harriet, then the mission opens up with you looking for clues in a designated area. And it's gonna be really helpful to be able to stay in Eagle Eye longer to help you find the clues faster. Also, if you find a legendary animal in free roam, typically you just see the question mark pop up on your scanner. At that point, you're going to need Eagle Eye to locate the animal. So the unblinking eye allowing you to stay in Eagle Eye longer is going to help in that regard as well. Now the final two cards for this build are pretty flexible. You can really use whatever fits your playstyle best. What we found we really liked were Iron Lung and Peak Condition. With Iron Lung, you'll take less damage depending on your stamina level. And with Peak Condition, you'll deal more damage depending on your stamina level. These cards work together to give you a boost on both your defense and your offense. This is really helpful when you're running into poachers on your sighting missions. And in free roam, there's a lot of variables out there. So Paint It Black and the Unblinking Eye are good for the actual tracking and sedating of the animal. And Iron Lung and Peak Condition for some general defense and offense for whatever the game throws at you. So now let's talk about killing and skinning legendary animals. We recommend four cards for this build. And this build works best with a Carcano sniper rifle at a distance. But it also works out well if the situation breaks down in a less ideal way. Taking the legendary animals out from a distance is just the best way to do it if you can. Since legendary animals can be dangerous and aggressive, you could get bucked off your horse even if you have a horse with the best temperament. And this is true with even non-predator legendary animals, like the rams and bisons. Bisons in particular are typically not very aggressive, but the legendary bison will get you bucked off your horse quick. So keeping a safe distance while taking them down is ideal. The dead eye card for this set is Focus Fire. You don't need paint it black because you're using a scope. And since the legendary animals are tanks, the added damage from Focus Fire is really helpful when dealing with them. The next card is Peak Condition. We already discussed this card in the first build, but this time the added damage is for the legendary animal. So it's pretty straightforward and we don't need to spend too much time on it. The third card is Winning Streak. With this card, each consecutive hit will deal more damage than the last. It's important to note, however, that if you miss or hit something else, you'll break the streak and start over. So pick your shots carefully. The fourth and final card for this build is Sharpshooter. With this card, you'll deal more damage when aiming down a scope. So this works really well with a long distance build. Now let's talk about what happens when you accidentally spook the legendary animal or things go south due to mission design. All the cards in this build, with the exception of Sharpshooter, work really well with a Carcano, but will also work really well with shotguns. If you're using the regular buckshot rounds, with Winning Streak, each pellet will increase damage. So this can be super deadly on these legendary animals if you end up having to get up close and personal. 
That's what we found helped us, but let me know in the comments below if you have a different idea or a different build that works for you. If you thought this video was helpful, drop me a like and subscribe for more Red Dead Online content. Next time you bring the chips, cause I got the guac.